Welcome to the Measurement Computing ULX for NI Lab View video demonstration. This video shows you how to acquire data from a Measurement Computing DAC device using ULX for NI Lab View software. The first step is to open a blank or empty project in Lab View. Right click on the block diagram and select User Libraries ULX for NI Lab View. This displays the ULX palette. Click the thumbtack in the upper left corner to pin the palette on the block diagram so it is no longer temporary. Now create an analog input voltage channel. Click the Create Channel icon and add the ULX Create Virtual Channel VI to the block diagram. Right click on the Physical Channels terminal and add a control. Now add a sample clock to your program. Click on the Timing icon and add the ULX Timing VI to the block diagram. Add a control to the Rate terminal and another control to the Samples per Channel terminal. Now click on the Start icon and add the ULX Start VI to the block diagram. Then select the Read icon and add the ULX Read VI to the block diagram. Use the Polymorphic VI selector to select the Analog Waveform 1Chan 1Samp instance. This instance reads multiple samples from one channel and displays the data in a waveform. Now add a VI to display the data. From the front panel, select Express Graph Indicators Graph and add a waveform graph to your program. From the block diagram, add a VI to write the data to a file. From the functions palette, select Programming, File I.O., Write Mes File, and add a Write to Measurement File Express VI to the block diagram. When you add this VI, a dialog opens for you to select some options. In the File Name text box, enter a path to save the data. In the Actions area, make sure that Save to One File is selected. In the Segment Headers area, select the One Header Only option. Now click on the Clear icon and add the ULX Clear Task VI to the block diagram. This VI releases resources that are reserved for the task. Finally, add a VI to notify you if an error occurs. From the Functions palette, select Programming, Dialog and User Interface Simple Error and place this VI on the block diagram. Now it's time to wire the VIs together. Connect a wire between the Task Out terminal on a VI to the Task In terminal on the adjacent VI. Connect a wire between the Error Out terminal on a VI to the Error In terminal on the adjacent VI. Connect a wire between the Waveform Graph and the Data terminal on the ULX Read VI. Finally, connect a wire between the Signals terminal on the Write to Measurement File VI in the data terminal on the ULX Read VI. This is your completed block diagram. Now display the front panel and configure the user interface. Click the physical channels arrow and select your device from the list. The device number is associated with the device installed in Instacal as board 0. Set the samples per channel and rate controls to values supported by your hardware. Click the Run button on the toolbar to run the VI. Waveform data displays on the front panel and the data is written to the file specified by the Write to Measurement file VI. Use a spreadsheet application or a text editor to open the data file. This image shows the data file opened and charted in Excel. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more information about ULX for NI LabVIEW software.